Hi guys, it's Rumi the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question number 318 on exam P on the solo website. So, pause the video real quick and try to solve this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you solved this problem, um, let's just get into it together. So, the question is asked, written on variable x and y have joint distribution given by the chart. Let a be the value that minimizes the variance of x. Calculate the variance of y. Okay, okay, so... We want to try first to find variance of x so we can minimize that. So I'm going to simplify this graph into my own chart. So I'm going to put x and its distribution right here. Distribution. So x could take the following values. x could either be 0, it could either be 1, or it could be 2. When x is equal to 0, the um, distribution is these. So when I write that out, Oh, I don't know. When I write that out, it's going to be 1 over 15 plus a plus 2 over 15. Or it's, or it's also equal to 3 over 15, which we can say is just 1 over 5. Agreed? Plus a. When, it, when the x value is equal, equal to 1, the um, distribution is 2a plus b. When it's equal to 2, it's the same thing. 3 over 15, or the same thing as saying 1 over 5 plus a so and we also know how to find variance variance of x as we recall from other videos is the e expectation to the second moment minus the whole expectation squared okay so let's just find e x squared and e of x the whole thing squared so we can say the e of I think the, um, the expectation is a little bit easier to find, so we're going to find out first. So that's equal to 0 times 1 over 5 plus a plus 1 times 2a plus b. Okay, what happened? Okay. Plus um, 2 times 1 over 5 plus a. Well, this is just equal to 0, and this is just equal to 2a plus b plus 2 over 5 plus 2a, which could be simple down to... 4a plus b plus 2 over 5. Okay, now let's find e of x squared. This is equal to, we just do the same thing, but instead of just taking it to first value, we just have to take it to the second value. So I'm going to copy that. Copy. Well, that's not what I want to do. Delete. <laughs> I think I just... Oh, technical difficulties. Is it easier to just write? I don't know. Mm, and we just copy and we paste it in here. Paste. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> and we paste. Paste. Okay, here we go. At least we tried. At least we tried using the technology. We'll be better. We'll get better, I swear. Okay, so we take it to the second file. Second, second. Well, this is still 2a plus b because 1 squared is still 1, plus the change c comes here though. So 2 times 2 squared is 4, so that's 4, 4 fifth plus 4a. So this is equal to 6a plus b plus 4 fifth. This looks like a... Yeah, here we go. Okay, so to find the variance, again, it's this formula right here. Variance... So we're going to plug our values in. ex squared, we know. We just found that right here. 6a plus b plus 4 fifth. Plus the expectation. Oh, minus the expectation squared. So that's 4a plus b plus 2 fifth squared. And we're trying to find a value a such that this is the smallest possible value. Right? Yes. So what could a be well if a is any positive number right then this is going to get bigger and bigger and if it's a, a is a negative number let's say like negative one then this is still going to be a value here so it's going to be like negative four plus b plus two third or two fifth to the squared so this just becomes positive value so actually th the best way to make this the smallest value to minimize it a has to be equal to zero and I guess, does that make sense? Because, again, if a is equal to 0, this value goes to 0, and this value goes to 0, and it makes it the smallest. Because, again, 
if it's negative. Like, a lot of people think, oh, if you just have a negative value, it's going to be smaller. No, 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 because it has a squared. It's going to still make it big. So knowing that a is equal to 0, the variance of x now turns out to be b plus 4 fifth minus b plus 2 fifth squared. Okay, okay, let's keep on going. Um, I'm going to factor this sucker out, so it, it equals b squared plus um, 4 fifth plus 4 25 oh, I forgot to be there. And it's subtracting. So I'm going to show all my steps so you can see it and that you're still following me. Plus 4 25 Okay. Okay, okay. Does anything cancel? Uh, I guess this could be simplified. These two could be together, and these two could be together. So, it, okay, so I'm gonna put those two values together. So it's it becomes one fifty plus um this is four times five, so that's twenty minus four sixteen twenty fifth minus b squared. Another important thing to note here is that because this is symmetric. Um, the mean is actually just the center. Wait, this is such a bad picture. We get the idea. It's the center. So, the center of this is x equals 1. So, we, we actually know the expectation is equal to 1. And we also know this right here, expectation is equal to 4ab, 4a plus b plus 2 fifth. So, we can use these two information. 4a plus 2b. 2b? Or, no, no, just 1b. b plus 2 fifth equals 1. One, and we know that the um a is just zero, so that cancels. So you get we get that b is equal to two thirds or three fifth, or <laughs> three fifth. <laughs> and then we can actually plug that back in. So then we get our variance of x is equal to one fifth times three fifth plus sixteen twenty fifth plus minus b squared, which is our nine twenty fifth. So simplifying now, we get fifteen plus um, 16 minus, oh, I am have this like I swear, 3 plus 16 minus 9 over 25, which is also equal to 10 25th, which is also equal to 2 5th. So we get that the variance of x is equal to 2. But what do they ask you for? They ask you for the variance of y. Well, it turns out the variance of y is actually equal to the variance of x because it's uniform, but, um, I'll show it to you real quick. <laughs> I started doing it right here. Um, so we notice what would be the this, um, values that y can take. It can even either be 0, 1, or 2. And what could be that distribution? Well, it's going to be this across. So that's 1 15 plus 2 15 plus 8. Well, that's just equal to 1 5th plus 8, isn't it? And what would be um, the distribution for 1? Well, that's going to be 2a plus b. And what would it be for 2? That's going to be 1 5th plus a. So as you notice, the y distribution is exactly the same as x. And because of that, um, because of the symmetry, the variance of x is equal to the variance of y, which is also equal to 2 fifths, as we derived earlier, so which is our answer number a. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!